All right, on the reel, the technique for doing the ornamentation on a reel, this is very important. Uh, the basic picking pattern will be, again, um, thumb for the downstrokes, index alternating with middle for the upstrokes. But since a reel is in 4-4 four, four time, and actually 4-4 four, four with eight quick eighth notes, usually as the general rhythmic pulse, you get... So it's thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle. And it's good to practice all your scales that way. scales you know or can think of so you can get a really smooth uh, flowing sound with the uh, alternating fingering, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Again, alternate the, the index and the middle for the sake of fluidity because if you just get stuck on one pattern like the uh, thumb index, you're holding the hand uh, in one position for a continuous time, and that tends to bring more tension into the hand. You can relax it more if you're alternating, as well as getting more speed and more legato. <clears throat> so it has physiological benefits as well as benefits to the music. Um, now, the basic ornamentation in a reel is going to be uh, the, the rhythmic pattern is dum bum buttle dum 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 buttle dum 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 buttle dum 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 buttle dum or buttle dum 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 buttle dum dum dum. What that is is adding an extra sixteenth notes to one of the pairs of eighths, but it's really uh, it's called a triplet because instead of two notes in a space, you get three, and uh, that's totally characteristic of Irish tra traditional music playing. And unless you can get those triplets in there somehow or other by hook or crook, you're not going to sound like you're actually playing an, an, an authentic Irish reel. It'll sound more like old time or bluegrass music, which is more straight in the duddle, 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 uh, two beats to, a, to an eighth note section. Um, so here's how it would sound with that finger picked style. And you use thumb index and then you do the triplet with ring middle and index so thumb index da da dum thumb dum ba da dum dum bum ba da dum bum bum ba da dum this is a technique that's borrowed from classical playing from something called tremolo but instead of the tremolo keeping up over a long period of time or a long section of music where you're doing that ring, middle, ring, middle, index, ring, middle, index, ring, middle, index thing as a sustained way of playing a, a treble line over a rolling arpeggio bass. You just uh, use that same little flick, flicking motion, ring, middle, index. To do your ornament. So it bum bum ba da dum bum bum ba da dum bum bum ba da dum. And when you get it up to tempo, it just sounds like a flick. And you want to lean into it a little bit to get that rhythmic pulse because a lot of the Irish music has a strong offbeat accent. Which is what gives it the swing. So, to take a little bit of the reel we played before, which is called uh, Over the Moor to Maggie, you go like this.
see how the triplets, you can put them in on virtually any beat. You can go bum ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum or you can go da dum ba da 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 ba da da ba dum uh, or you can go bum ba da da dum ba dum ba da dum on the first beat, on the second beat, on the third beat, on the fourth beat. The basic pattern, though, that gives it the swing is to do that triplet on the second beat. And here's where it... The way to practice it is um, just to practice it on a until you've got it where you can really do it fluid fluidly. So just to demonstrate slowly one, uh, one more section of the reel. Uh, and the, the thing about the, um, the, the triplets is that they can be done on the same note, like that, or they can be done on a moving segment. You can do uh, what you call a hammered uh, triplet, where on the second note of the triplet, you hammer on uh, an, a note either above or below. That's below. That's that's where you hammer a note above, and those uh, the hammered notes uh, or, or or pulled off notes you do so quickly that it's like a little flick. It's not even um, uh, the the note itself is not as important as the rhythmic effect of the moving note. It gets a, just a little extra percussive quality when you move the note, as opposed to that's what Mick Maloney called flicked triplets. And it, it, it almost doesn't matter the pitch, what what pitch of the note you're hitting. It's like a little staccato muted note. That you throw in there, and the other thing to do is to is to move the whole triplet. So you see, I'm going. So each of those three notes of the triplets are moving. seems more difficult than it is actually when you when you get it up to tempo and when you're used to hammering on and, and, and know where the, mo the notes are moving the um, the effect is almost automatic so those are the and you can do, you can move those up or down. And those are the, that's the basic basis of my style of ornamentation, which really is intended to take the kinds of running movement between the notes of a reel that you'll hear a violin player, a fiddle player, that is, or a or a flute player or a piper do, uh, and to transfer that to the citron with the maximum possible rhythmic drive and ornamentation. Mm -hmm.